Alexander and Porus. A tale of respect and strategy on the banks of the Hydaspes. The encounter between Alexander the Great and King Porus is a story of epic proportions, blending dramatic warfare with a profound mutual respect between two legendary leaders. It stands as one of history's most intriguing episodes, showcasing not only the military prowess of Alexander, but also his diplomatic genius and the nobility of a defeated yet dignified king. Going ahead with the video, I request you to kindly subscribe the channel after watching this video. In 326 BCE, after securing his hold over the vast Persian Empire, Alexander turned his attention eastward, driven by an insatiable ambition to explore the limits of the known world and expand his empire. This relentless drive led him to the Indian subcontinent, where he encountered various formidable kingdoms. Among these was the kingdom of Porus, located between the Jhelum and Chenab rivers in modern-day Punjab, Pakistan. The battle that ensued on the banks of the Hydaspes River is remembered as one of Alexander's most challenging and tactically brilliant confrontations. The swollen river, enhanced by the monsoon rains, presented a significant natural barrier, making a direct crossing seemingly impossible. Yet Alexander, known for his strategic brilliance, devised a cunning plan to outmaneuver his adversary. He employed diversionary tactics, creating the illusion of multiple crossing points to mislead Porus. Under the cover of darkness, Alexander led a contingent of his elite troops across the river at an unexpected location, intending to surprise and outflank Porus. Porus, a seasoned and formidable warrior, anticipated an attack and had positioned his troops strategically along the river banks. His army was impressive, including infantry, cavalry, chariots, and most daunting of all, war elephants, beasts that were new and terrifying to the Macedonian soldiers. As the Macedonians approached, Porus quickly mobilized his forces to confront them. The ensuing battle was a fierce and chaotic engagement. The war elephants initially wreaked havoc among Alexander's troops, causing panic and significant casualties. These elephants were a new challenge for the Macedonians, who had never faced such a formidable foe. However, Alexander's army, renowned for its discipline and adaptability, soon found ways to counteract the elephants' impact. They targeted the Mahouts, the drivers of the elephants, and attacked the animals' vulnerable points, gradually turning the tide of the battle. Alexander's tactical genius shone through as he employed his phalanx to hold the line against Porus's infantry, while his cavalry executed flanking maneuvers to encircle and disrupt the Indian forces. Despite being outnumbered and facing the unprecedented challenge of war elephants, Alexander's troops maintained their cohesion and effectiveness. The disciplined phalanx formations and the versatility of the cavalry ultimately led to a decisive victory for Alexander. After the intense battle, Alexander sought out the defeated King Porus. The encounter between these two leaders has become legendary, highlighting the mutual respect and admiration they held for each other. Porus, despite his injuries and the loss of his forces, stood before Alexander with remarkable courage and dignity. The famous exchange between them is often quoted and encapsulates the essence of their meeting. Alexander. How would you like to be treated? Porus. Like a king. Impressed by Porus's bravery, nobility, and the dignified way he conducted himself even in defeat, Alexander made a decision that showcased both his respect for a worthy adversary and his strategic acumen. He chose to restore Porus to his throne, allowing him to retain his kingdom and even granting him additional territories. This act was not only a gesture of magnanimity, but also a shrewd move to ensure stability in the newly conquered region. By treating Porus with respect and honoring his royal status, Alexander secured a loyal ally in a crucial area, facilitating the governance and control of his expanding empire. The encounter between Alexander and Porus holds significant historical and cultural implications. It exemplifies the complexities of leadership, where military conquest is intertwined with diplomacy and respect for one's enemies. 
Alexander's ability to recognize the value of an honorable adversary and to integrate him into his empire without humiliation speaks volumes about his vision as a ruler. Moreover, this encounter marked the beginning of a cultural exchange between the Greek and Indian civilizations. The interaction between Alexander's Hellenistic culture and the rich traditions of the Indian subcontinent influenced trade, art, and warfare in the years that followed. The blending of these cultures contributed to the broader narrative of Alexander's conquests, which were not merely about territorial expansion, but also about the fusion of diverse peoples and ideas. Towards conclusion, it is reminded not to forget to like, share, and comment on the video, and also subscribe the channel. In conclusion, the encounter between Alexander the Great and King Porus is a testament to the enduring qualities of leadership, respect, and strategic foresight. It highlights the humanity that can exist even amidst the brutality of war and the potential for respect and cooperation between erstwhile enemies. This episode in history remains a powerful reminder of the complexities of conquest and the importance of diplomacy and respect in the exercise of power. Alexander's treatment of Porus serves as a timeless example of how great leaders can transcend mere victory to achieve lasting influence and legacy. Thank you for watching.